Hi, welcome to episode 44 of the Passionate Spirit Podcast. My name is Tracy. You can find me as Schnüffeltier on Ravelry and Instagram. There's a Ravelry group for the podcast and the blog. And I thank everyone who subscribes to my podcast because I just hit 500 subscribers and that's just amazing to me. I never thought that there would be so many people out there who would like to watch me talk about stuff to myself in my room. It's just amazing. And yeah, thank you so much for being here. Now, as you can see, I'm not wearing handmade stuff. I'm wearing my amazing Spider-Man t-shirt. That's, I love this one. When I wore this for work the first time, because yeah, I do wear these things to work. Um, <laughs> people look at me a little bit strange and thought, uh -huh. that's kind of, you know, arrogant. No, it's not. If you know Spider-Man, you know that it's called The Amazing Spider-Man. It's not that I think I'm amazing. Spider-Man is amazing. Yeah. That's very interesting for a knitting podcast, right? Now, knitting in the past, I didn't have time to finish stuff because I just didn't. But I'm working on things. So for knitting in the present, I have two pairs of socks on the needles that I can show. The first one is in my box bag that I made. It's out of this yarn, Fischer Wolle Corina. It's a German commercial sock yarn. And I have one sock done. Don't have a blocker here. I'm not going to grab one. And I just hit, nah, I'm about two or three rows away from the heel on the second. The colors are really muted. It's going to be a great, um, Pair of socks. It's going to be for my mother-in-law, so I hope she will like them. And yeah, so that's the first pair. And then I started a second pair of socks because I wanted to have something to knit on, something mindless, and I was about to have to put in the heel on this one, so that didn't happen. And it's in my super small leopard print plush bag that I got from a friend. Um, I took this with me yesterday for our field trip I'm gonna talk about later. So in here I have another pair of socks of course and this one is from the Opal Abo. It's the Opal Yarn Club. Um, I've had this for a while and I decided to start th these for my niece for Christmas and I love how this is knitting up isn't it amazing hmm. I really would like to keep these but I have so many pairs of socks in my stash in my finished socks stash that it's just not going to happen so yeah these are on the needles as well they are going to get out of this little bag because it's you can barely fit a skein of yarn in here but as we, like I said, went out yesterday, I needed to put this in my purse. So I needed the smallest bag possible. And I'm using one of my needle cozies and I will have a needle cozy shop update very soon. So yeah, that's it. That's all I've been working on. Only those two pairs of socks. I don't have anything planned. I have no spinning. <laughs> so we're not really four minutes in and that was everything for knitting. Now it's going to be all new stuff and cross stitch. So first new stuff. I got a package from a wonderful friend because I was looking for this pattern. For a few episodes ago, I asked people to go and find this pattern for me. She did, she found it and she gifted it to me and she sent some other amazing things as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm really, really happy about this. I uh, immediately ordered fabric and it's not here yet, but I am going to make this. I look so forward to this. It's amazing. I'm going to make this version A because version B is quite a bit shorter. And as you can see, she's wearing version A and it's about knee length and shorter than knee length is not for me. So yeah, I got my very, um, coveted pattern and then <laughs> I got dancing dog dye works yarn 
I love this. It's called Henry's Sweater. And it has a mini. And I cannot read the name of the mini. I don't care. It's beautiful. Look at this. I will definitely knit socks for myself out of this. With contrasting cuffs, heels and toes. So, yeah. Thank you. Never knit with Dancing Dog Dye Works. So, it's going to be a new one for me. Then there's a bag full of tea. Because I love tea. And she also sent me this piece of hand dyed fabric and it's the like this one here as you can see I I don't know yet what to do with this I have I had an idea and she had an idea she thought I could maybe use it as the contrast for the pattern and that's a great idea but I would have to cut it and it is so pretty in its you know entirety so I thought about using this in uh, the back of a quilt so I can just leave it as it is add the other backing around and just have it be nice I don't I don't know yet I will find something for this so yeah thank you very much I'm so so happy and so uh, I don't know the word but I'm just very happy <laughs> so now I have more gifts. My husband went away for work again and he brought me stuff because that's what he does. He went to Michael's. He wanted to get me cross stitch stuff because I'm very much into cross stitch right now, as you will see later. And he said they had the thread and they had the fabric, but he wanted or I asked him to bring me kits and they didn't have any. So he didn't bring me any, which is okay. So he just went to his fallback and brought me fabric. So I got this pattern. Uh, this fat quarter bundle in different blues then this one here which is really nice and bright and I'm actually quite sure that I have the same one already so I might just put these together and make a larger quilt with them and some single fat quarters and um, I got contacted by Erin who said to me that I should take care of the sticky stuff the label because it can leave residue and I used several of these now and I didn't have any problems it just came off and it didn't leave anything on the fabric so that's great then he brought me some small thank you note cards because he um, he said you know I brought you these to put in your parcels for when you send out stuff from your shop yeah he's so sweet so I'm going to use these of course for the next orders and then he brought me washi tape because you cannot find washi tape here unless you look online or in special scrapbook stores and we don't have anything like that here. So he brought me these. And this roll full of washi. I'm going to have a hair in my mouth. That's kind of gross. So washi tape, which I love to use. And two quilt magazines. And I have not looked into any of these yet. I just didn't have the time. But I haven't had them before. They're uh, Weekend Quilting and Quilters, Quilters World. And uh, they're new to me. So I look forward to use these. So yes. That's what my husband brought me back. Because like I said. He does that every time he leaves for work. And he finds the time to do it. And now. For the big thing. I have a lot of stuff to show because Sitchinista, my friend um, and I and some other friends, we went to big fabric fair market thing yesterday. It's in, It was in Munich, so we went there by train and oh god, did I get motion sick. Ooh. Since I was pregnant, I get motion sick like really bad. I cannot, e I can't even sit in the passenger seat of the car without getting sick. So I thought, you know, I've never had problems with the train. Mm -hmm. I never did until yesterday. So yeah, that wasn't fun, but everything else was great. So we went to that thing that's called Holländischer Stoffmarkt. They are all over Germany. It's always on the weekends and it is always like pff, crowded. 
it was crowded yesterday and I got told that normally there uh, there are you know three times the people and I was yesterday it was already pfft, over overwhelming for me so many people so much fabric it was just uh, the Holländische Stoffmarkt has 140 booths of fabric and sewing notions. You know, zippers and thread and needles and it was it was a lot. So I got a lot. And the good thing about this market is it's quite cheap. So I got a lot for not a whole lot of money. Well it was a lot of money, but it wasn't as much as I would have paid for at a different place. So I'm going to get started with the jerseys. I have one. I had to get one back. I did take a backpack and uh, a small Ikea bag. They were quite full, so I had to get one bag in the end. So I am going to just pull that on my desk so I won't have to crinkle all the time because that sound makes me crazy. Okay, so they have what they call coupons, which is pre-cut fabric. And I got some of these. There's one more jersey down here that I need to get. So let's start with these. Um, these are one and a half meters each. So I got this one. Um, I'm going to make long sleeve shirts with these. Then I got this one. I just, I adore it. They had a second one in the exact same pattern with different colors. It was yellow and turquoise and light green and uh, Stitch and Nista got that. So we will quite possibly sew the same shirt of this. Unless she's doing a dress, which I'm not going to do. And I got this one which is different. It's, it's just different. I like it. It's paisley black with, you know, muted colors on top of it. It's just, it's gorgeous. After I finish this podcast, I'm going to wash this stuff so I can use it. So now where to put it. And then I got these five rolls, which are 80 centimeters each which is enough to do a natty top and I love the natty top. I made one so far. I have cut another one. I have fabric set aside for at least three other ones. This is my go-to pattern. I love the fit. I love the, the style. It looks great. So I got this one. And this is very true to color, I have to say. And this one, another one that Stitchinista has, the same. Then this pink, uh, purple one, Plum Town. This is the one you thought looked really nice, and it does. And it's a really nice dark purple that doesn't show up at all on my camera or on my laptop screen thing. Then I got this brown one with the little salamanders, lizards, whatever. And the green with... Um, zebra style cats on it. They did have the same one without the cats, but I like the cats. So I took the cats with me. So yeah, these are my natty tops to be. And then I'm gonna go to the Ikea bag. And like I said, it's a small one, not one of the big ones. That would have been ridiculous. <laughs> so here's the Ikea bag. I'm just gonna take everything out like I did with the other one. Here they are, and I'm going to show everything because I want to. This was a leftover that I scored from one of the booths. It is uh, uh, 1.7 meters, and I want to make a dress out of this. Quite possibly a button-down shirt style dress. Shirt dress? Yeah, you know what I mean. Then I got this fabric gifted from Stitchinista because she got the same one in different colors again and this is going to be a short sleeve blouse 
sometime in the future. It's it's just amazingly cute. I love it. So then I got linen to sew some. Oh, it froze. That's amazing. Don't freeze. Ugh. I don't understand why why it freezes all the time. I just don't understand. So I got this linen. It's a real grass green linen to sew um, shorts. I have a pattern already in mind for this and um, I'm going to show it some other time. And then I got stuff for dresses because if you know me, I wear dresses in summer a lot, mostly at home because I never wore a dress to, to school for work. I just didn't. But I really want to get more into uh, wearing dresses. So I got two meters each of the following fabrics. And I did check my want to sew patterns beforehand and almost all of them ask for two meters. So I got two meters. This one. I love this one. I think I should sew a 50s style dress out of this, but I only have two meters, so I have to be careful. Then this one. And I have two and a half meters of this. This was the most expensive one of all of these, but I am in love with it. They did have it in greens and browns, but they didn't look nice. So I went for the blue and I am in love with it. So yeah, these are going to be dresses and then I got one coupon of denim for a pair of pants because I really want to try and sew a pair of pants for myself sometime. So yeah, that's it. That's my haul from Holländische Stoffmarkt. I am super happy with everything I got and um, considering seeing everyone else who was there, I didn't get all that much. I got enough stuff to sew 17 garments. That's a lot. And there were people there with a trolley, you know, suitcase trolley thing that you take with you on vacation. And there were a lot of those people there. And I understand why, because the fabric there is really nice quality and it is just inexpensive. It's not cheap stuff, it's inexpensive stuff. and. If you want to sew a lot of stuff for yourself, you want to go, of course, for good quality because you want to wear it a long, a long time, but you also want to go for not that expensive because if I have to pay up to 50 euros for a meter of fabric for stuff, I'm not going to sew all that much stuff because it's just not what I want. It's not worth it for me. If you want to do that and if you are good enough in sewing, you should totally do that. I'm a beginner garment person, so I'm not going to invest that much money into fabric before I can do stuff. So I'm really happy. I'm going to have to sew 17 things out of these. So this will last a long time. There's going to be another one in, uh, in autumn. We already decided to not go because we have so much stuff now <laughs> that we just don't we don't need to go because this is going to last me a year at least. Oops. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really, really happy with what I got. And that's all I got. Now, I don't have an Indie of the Week. I didn't read. Well, that's not quite true. I read one chapter in my book while nap time. But that's, that's it. I... I'm still listening to the Emily Lang series by Christoph Marzi. I haven't watched anything, but I did some sewing, a, a teeny bit of sewing. I want to have an update in my shop with four project bags and they're going to be Harry Potter house colors because I have this amazing um, fabric with the Harry Potter quotes. They're all from the first book and this is going to be the Hufflepuff bag. And as I had four of these 
panels of fabric, you know, the quote panel, I decided to do it in house colors because that just makes sense to me. So yeah, this is going to be the Hufflepuff bag, just plain on the back. And I have fabric set aside for the other ones, but sewing just wasn't happening this week with my son and me alone. I did make this bag and it was, it wasn't hard to do, but it just, I wanted to spend time with my son differently. So yeah, these will be made today and tomorrow and they will go up tomorrow. I hope, I hope the weather will be good again to take pictures outside because the weather is horrible today. After it was excruciatingly hot yesterday, we have rain and 10 degrees Celsius. Yesterday we had over 30 and it was just, ugh. so yeah, these are going to go up in the shop this week for sure. So if you want one, check out my Instagram because I'm going to announce when I put them up there. So that's it for sewing, but cross stitch. I do have cross stitch. I did really discovered floss tube this week and I um, subscribed to a bunch of people and watched their floss tubes and uh, it just made me want to cross stitch all the things so I did cross stitch all the time when my son was napping so he fell asleep I put him on the sofa next to me because when I'm sitting there he cannot roll but you know it, it's very safe and then um, I did cross stitch until he woke up again. And um, sometimes he slept for an hour and then other days he slept for two or three hours. So I got a lot of cross stitching done and I'm gonna show you. And I have new stuff in cross stitch as well. So first of all, my finished object. I finally finished Rocky and the Apple Tree. I started this the week I started my podcast. In my very first podcast, I showed this project and I had a little bit I think I had this much of the tree done and half the trunk. So, and that was it. When I took it out this week again, that was exactly the state where it was. So I finished the tree, put on all the green leaves <laughs> with the apples and the little raccoon. And I really love it. It was a kit from Sewing Seed on Etsy. It came with uh, everything. And I framed it in the little hoop. The only thing I have to do now is finish it in the back and I just don't know really how to do that. So do I do I just glue it down to make sure it stays there and put on felt or I just really do not know. So if you do know, please tell me. There's something red in here and it drives me crazy. Okay, what I did when I finished it, after I finished it because I didn't think of that before, I zigzagged with the sewing machine all around the edges so it cannot fray. So yes, this is done. It's going to go in my son's room and um, I already picked out a little pattern for a little skunk because it's a beaut um, that holds a uh, poppy flower or a goober daisy probably. So yeah, this is going to be the first part of a little set that I will put in his room. And after I finished this, I wanted a palette cleanser project. And um, I just, I had this idea. I want to have a wall full of stitched monograms in my house. So I started with a small and simple one. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about this. It's a small and simple monogram. I just cut off a piece of this Ada band ribbon thing that I have in all kinds of colors and widths and it's not centered because I'm an idiot but I don't care I'm gonna get a um what's the word a frame for it and just frame it so you cannot see the edges any, any longer and then I can just you know make sure that it's centered like this somehow so yes that's the first one and I really like it what I did, what was not called for in the pattern, um, this T was not centered in the pattern. There were two uh, empty rows on the top and one empty row at the bottom. And I didn't like that. So I just added something at the top to fill that up. So there's only one row 
Oh, and it froze again. Isn't that great? Oh, well, at least you're seeing nice stuff while I talk to myself here. Okay, so these are the things that I finished. I already decided on the next monogram that I want to make. And I'm going to do a lot of teas first because there's two tea people here. Um, you know, Tim and Tracy. And the next one is going to be this little tea with a um, butterfly. I'm going to stitch it on another dark red, but a different red. You know, this is like fire engine red and this is more like a Bordeaux. And I got the floss out. I do not bobbinate. I have these, these things. And I like to use them. Oh, wow. What did I do now? Ugh. Okay. So, yeah. This is going to be the next monogram in my house. And then I have to make some with a J for my husband's name and start putting them on a wall. I already know where I want them. I just... I don't know if my husband wants them there. We'll see. And then I started something for my husband. And, um, yeah, this is how far I am. I cut a piece of baby blue Ada, zigzagged around the edges. And I'm going to show it back here because I don't have a picture. It's this little thing that says, I super believe in you. Because he's a software person. He's very good at what he does and he's doubting if... If he gets stuff the way he wants to get them done, he always does, but you know. So I decided to make this for him for his birthday. I super believe in you. Just because. And I had to rip this out. Because I'm an idiot. I printed out this little thing and it has a grid, you know. And I looked at the pattern and said, okay, there's one whole grid there and there's uh, four more, so... 10 stitches, uh, 14 stitches. Yeah. I got the whole in done and the Y. No, the... Yeah, the Y. <laughs> uh, and when I was stitching the Y, I just discovered that there, it's off. And I didn't, didn't know why and I couldn't figure it out. And then I looked at the pattern again and guess what? The bottom grid, it's not 10 stitches, it's only 7. Because, you know... They start grading from the top and it's just not a full 10 stitches in the end, but only seven. So my pattern was off by three stitches and I had to rip everything out because I couldn't fudge it. So I did. And it wasn't that hard. Of course, it's not hard to rip out stuff, but it's just, it was so much stitching. But yes, I'm working on this. I really love it. I think it will be nice. So, yeah. That's what I'm working on right now. Here's my floss. Um, as you could see in the picture back here, the, the words are written in yellow. Except for super, which is written in a red. And I converted this to have everything in blue and the super in this super uh, yeah, in this nice raspberry color to make it a little bit more manly, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, so that's my stitching. And then for the new stuff in stitching that I got, I ordered a Joan Elliott book because I love her stuff and I really want to make this dragon. I know I'm crazy, but I love this this dragon. This whole book is full of really nice patterns. Like Joan Elliott is one of the big names in stitching. At least that's what I learned this week. I hope that's true. And yeah, isn't he gorgeous? I am going to make this sometime in my life. He's called Crescent Moon Dragon. So yeah, I got this book. Bewitching cross stitch and then yesterday at the train station in my little hometown which has a you know teeny tiny train station with only three um, tracks that's the word right train tracks I don't know they had a cross stitch magazine there's only one but they did have it 
when we were in Munich, I went to a big, big uh, magazine shop at the train station. They didn't have any cross-stitching stuff. So um, I got this one and I got it for a very good reason. It's this one. It's an elephant in front of the Taj Mahal, I would say. Or something very, very similar. It's beautiful. And I found out that the people who put that magazine out do have a cross-stitch online shop. And I got the kit for this for super cheap. Like really super cheap. So I did. I got the kit. And I also got the kit for this one. And it's two companions because because I'm gonna show them to you and you will understand why look at this so that's the one that's in here as well and these are the two companions they are so sweet they're quite small in the end but I like it I really like these and yeah, so I got the kits for these as well. And now that's it for cross stitch as well. That leaves me with everything else. There are knit alongs going on in the Ravelry group. We have the 16 in 2016, which is a sock knit along. You should enter because next week, this month will be over and I will draw a new winner for May. I still haven't sent out your gift, Sadie. I'm really sorry. I just didn't. I couldn't get to it so far. And then we have the interpretations knit along where you can enter until the end of September because there are a lot of garments in these uh, books. It's about the interpretations books by Hohi Locatelli and Vera Valimaki. So if you are knitting stuff from these books, you can enter in the knit along and I will have prizes. I just don't know what yet, but there will be prizes in the end. And then I do have a new logo. I hope you saw it. I posted a picture on Instagram and I do have the new banner up in the shop and in the um, Ravelry group. And I do have another big banner that I want to get printed on carts for sending out stuff. I'm so excited. I got these from Grace, who is who has the A Fandom Doodler shop on Etsy. And I'm going to look for the picture for the logo. Because I know I have it in here. I think I have all of them in here. Yes. So. This is my new logo. Isn't it perfect for me? I am so in love with this. It's amazing. And then. Nope. Wrong direction. Nope. I have this banner that I couldn't use so far because it's it didn't YouTube didn't want me to use it and and this banner. I hope you can see stuff except for the camera that's, you know, on the phone here. But yes. These are my new logos and my new banner. And I am so excited to have these and I'm so thankful, Grace, you are amazing. And there will be a big box of stuff sent to you very soon. I have already dug out a few things, but I need to add stuff. So yeah, I think that's it for this week. I hope you all have a wonderful week. I will talk to you again next week. I hope to have a shop update in the next few days with the Harry Potter bags. And yeah, I'm going to cross stitch as much as I can because I want to and I want to sew garments and I need to put my cinnamon buns knots with Nutella and hazelnut filling in the oven because they were risen now and they will go in the oven and I'm ex excited for these so yeah that's it <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful week enjoy everything you do bye <laughs>